Hello viewers. I haven't made a video in a while so I thought I would make one. This is the five month review of this power inverter. Sorry that it's sideways for you. Uh, this is one of the cheaper uh, Chinese brands. I think I paid around $300 for a 2500 watt. LCYMN is the brand name. And it tells you it's a pure sine wave inverter. I've had this inverter now for five months. It has not been turned off for a moment. It's been under constant use. Um, those of you who have seen some of my, my earlier channel or uh, earlier videos on the channel uh, know that I use this to keep a freezer upstairs going full time. And I also have my coffee maker plugged into it, as well as a four-piece toaster and uh, a few other things like vacuum sealer and stuff like that. All comes off of this power inverter full-time since I've installed it. Uh, this is pretty much a constant 24-hour draw, the 134 watts. This really doesn't change much. Uh, you know, every time I look at it, it's between 160 and, uh, and 120. Um, unless we're making toast, then it's up to 12 to 1400. Uh, there was a comment when I first showed this. Um, one of my viewers said, have fun with that, uh, that cheap Chinese, uh, power inverter. It's going to kill your freezer. And I thought that's very possible. Many of them do. Many of them will. That's why we vet our gear is to make sure it's going to work in our time of need. And in this case, this, uh, this power inverter is currently running the lights in my basement. And, um running the freezer and everything else it has done so without the slightest hiccup when i am making toast i can hear the fans kick in so they do work and of course this is solar fed i have a 100 amp hour mppt charge controller which is grossly underpowered uh, as far as solar goes uh, if you've been following some of my videos um I still have not gotten the solar panels I'm looking for. They, uh, they keep going out of stock. And I've also found another setup I'm very interested in and I'm just researching. I may go that way. So it'll be a bit before I do the, uh, the panel upgrade video. And of course, we power this through these two batteries down here. Uh, these are, uh, 320 amp hours each so i get about 8.2 kilowatts uh, between the two of them um, uh, one of these batteries the one on top it came to me damaged uh, the the power buttons broken uh, right out of the box i was lucky it actually turned on uh, the charge port is fine but in here uh, there was a, uh, I think a USB or something that got pushed in somehow. I could open up the case and repair it, but I didn't buy it for that. I bought it to just sit here quietly and hold a whole lot of power. Um, this battery I've never actually killed. It's uh, even on bad, uh, you know, two, three bad weather weeks, it still gets the job done. But I backed it up with a second one anyway. And uh, I have more plans we'll discuss in a later video. If I don't just install it and show you. So for power in. Here we are September 10 at uh, 2.04 local time. I've uh, It's been terrible weather today. So I've only had 760 watts, but I do average two kilowatts a day. Um, I fully expect I'll get another 400 watts by today. So being the, uh, the 10th day, I'll have 20 kilowatts by the end of the day. 
and uh, over 454 kilowatts since the year began. So that's, you know, I'm comfortable with that. Uh, still going to get more solar. So right now, uh, it's a little extra overcast and uh, I'm not getting very much for power at all. Uh, however, it seems to keep up. The batteries, uh, they have enough storage where, you know, when I'm going through a week or two of uh, really cloudy weather and I'm getting just terrible uh, solar input, uh, the batteries keep up. And when the sun weather comes back, I get uh, around 2.5, 2.8 kilowatts in a good day. Uh, I have had as many as three. Um, but as an average, it, it you know, uh, good days versus bad days, it works out to be about two kilowatts a day is what I'm getting. So that will definitely get expanded. But, you know, at 13.4, we've had a couple of uh, days of poor weather, poor, uh, you know, uh, low clouds and really thick ones. I haven't gotten much, much power in the past couple of days. But I still have pretty much a full battery. Um, it it only takes a few amps out to drop the power to 13.4 and then it stays there quite a while. Uh, the day before yesterday, um, or the day before that even, we had a very beautiful hot sunny day all day and I came down to see my power generation and I was only getting uh, I think 83 watts at the time. So that would indicate the batteries were totally full and not accepting and the uh, the 83 watts was just being pushed out to cover my draw. So so far the the whole system has been working. Uh, been working very well. I've had no shutdowns, nothing's gone wrong. Uh, it's pretty much set and forget. This particular um, Inverter I rarely use. Uh, I think it's only plugged in to, to fire up computers and a few things like that. Um, and uh, yeah, but the, this power inverter, getting back to the, the video, it has been worth every dollar I spent. It Again, it runs 24-7 and it gives me no complaints whatsoever. Um, would I recommend it? Yes. Would I buy another? I'm probably going to. I don't really have a use for uh, a second one at the moment. But like I had alluded to earlier in the video, I have a few other plans that I'm up to. And if I go that way, then I'm going to be getting just a 5,000 watt inverter. Uh, but it'll be 48 volts. And I'll make sure it's from the same company, um, more or less expecting the same performance. Uh, I, again, I, I do recommend this if you're doing a small solar backup or an RV, a, a cabin, ham shack, something of that magnitude. Now for you ham guys, uh, this does give off RF interference on the HF bands. Um, I do have it, uh, the chassis grounded out and everything, but it's, it's just a little noisy. Nature of the beast, we've all, uh, experienced that before. Um, mind you, unless you're using it to operate your HF radio, it's, it's kind of one or two things. You can turn it off to clean up, uh, the interference or just deal with the interference as I do. Um, it's like one S unit, one and a half S units worth of uh, static. For some radio operators, that is absolutely intolerable. Um, but for me, I run a one watt station most of the time, um, rarely using more than that unless needed. And it really doesn't make a lot of difference on my end. Um, although personally, I do prefer to shut it down from time to time, uh, you know, when you're working tough band conditions. Aside from that, 
if you're still watching thank you very much I hope you enjoyed my review of the LCYMN uh, 2500 watt pure sine wave inverter from uh, from China and again this was a uh, for a 2500 watt inverter it was very 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 inexpensive um, almost to the point where you don't want to buy it because you're certain you're not getting what you're getting uh, this thing I've I've ran it up 23 2400 watts and it's just done it like a champ um, I have no complaints like I said when I go to upgrade and get uh, uh, slightly more powerful um, like about four times more powerful then I'll be I'll be bringing this up to their 5,000 uh, watt model which is 48 volt only and uh, and I'll definitely buy from the same company uh, I think that's everything I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching.